Hello everyone, this is Javier Torres from Anarchy Live. As you already know, uh, I, I didn't make a video yesterday, I'm sorry about that. But today I did want to talk about the carriers and how they keep offering certain things and trying to make them look good, uh, even though they are really not that great. Um, like in the last few weeks, maybe the last month or so, I believe both AT&T and Verizon have uh, made changes to their plans to allow people for more data usage. And it sounds great, right? People get more data. Yeah, it sounds great, but at the same time, it's like you're the one putting the data, data limit to begin with. Like the carriers are the ones giving you a limit. Um, Sprint and T-Mobile manage to give you data and not give you limits, but AT&T and Verizon, they give you limits and then they are like, hey, look at us, we're going to be nice and give you more data for what you pay for. Why can't you just give us unlimited like the others? Um, so so to me, that that's, that's kind of annoying. It, it really bugs me. <laughs> like, you know, you're the one imposing the limits on me. Um, I guess later in March, I believe it's March 26th, T-Mobile is going to be um, giving us more countries that we can uh, roam for free in. Not for free, but, you know, they're, they're roaming thing where you can test people from another country. Um, and it's going to be free. And then if you're in some other country, you can make phone calls for like 20 cents a minute. It used to be a hundred countries now it's gonna be like 120 uh, but there used to be about a hundred countries also that you could test like if you're in the United States you can test them for free um, so I think that number is going up to like 200 which sounds really good like oh you're gonna be able to test all these people from all these other countries for free yeah it, it sounds good but <laughs> when you think about it the people in those countries they're not gonna be able to test you back i mean they're probably not gonna be able to afford it um, unless they have you know a similar plan which some countries probably do i don't know um but i know that the people that i would like to test in like mexico or some other countries they can't just test me back so it becomes kind of useless that's why we still use applications like whatsapp or line 2 or yeah, you know, many of those. So, yeah. And I am not going to be surprised when soon Verizon says, hey, we're going to let you um, view Facebook for free. Like, it's not going to count against your data because they're going to get Facebook to pay them money uh, to do that. So instead of you paying for the data, Facebook is going to be paying for the data because Facebook wants people to use their website without being afraid of, of uh, their data limits which again are data limits imposed by Verizon to begin with so even though they make it sound like such a great thing it's really not it's like me going to your place taking away all your food and telling you look I'm gonna ha let you have this food and I'm gonna let you have an extra hot dog just because I'm nice all right I'm gonna go to work uh, I wish I had something better to tell you guys, uh, but there's not much going on right now. There, There is actually a, a winter storm going on right now. It kind of passed uh, my area. There's not much going on. But I was a little bit upset because I, I guess it's called Winter Storm Vulcan. So I could say that we were getting a lot of Vulcan snow, but, but we didn't. We hardly got any. I mean, there is some in, in the back there, but not much. So, in a way, I'm happy that we didn't get snow. In another way, it's like, hey, that would have been Vulcan snow. Like, yay. <laughs> All right. I'm out of here. Later.